I don't know what the weather's like in whichever one of the six time zones you may be watching this in, in Canada, but I can tell you it's gotten cold here in Toronto. And those of us who live here in Toronto know it's time to bring out the warm coats. The summer has been beautiful, hot. You could almost take a handful of the air and chomp it. It's been so humid here. Now it's clearing out, getting cold. The leaves are falling. We know it's winter, close to it. They actually used the flurry word this morning on, on the uh, radio. North of here, they're expecting snow. <laughs> and we can't stop it. What else can we stop? Can't we stop, rather? What else can't we stop? We cannot stop God's love and God continually wanting to talk to us. Jesus is quite clear here. How can you call yourselves believers if you don't judge for yourself what is right? Well, that presupposes something, that we've learned what is right. If we are in church together as a community, if we are watching this mass on television, we know right from wrong. Jesus, in a very gentle way, is telling us today, look at the times in the world. Look at the times in your country. Look at the times in your community, in your life. Where is the world? Great sorrow and great joy. The sorrow of that horrible tragedy in Hungary and the joy of that wonderful rescue in Chile. So the world needs prayer. Prayer that God might comfort those people who are in such a horrible state in their lives. And the prayer of thanksgiving for God, that God gave those engineers the gift of knowledge to know how to rescue the miners and God's gift of the lives of those miners. So, prayer of supplication, prayer of praise. In our country, same thing. There are great tragedies happening in Canada and great joys as well. Oddly enough, we may not see the great joys in the newspapers or on television, but in your own community, which couple is going to have a baby now? Which couple has decided to become wed in your church? Great joy, great joy. Again, prayer of supplication for the country, prayer of thanksgiving for what's good in your community and in your own life. For what are you praying for yourself? Strength to overcome temptation? Good. Acknowledgement of the fact that God has given you that strength? Good. Prayer of supplication for yourself and a prayer of thanksgiving for the work that God has done in your life. I hope that wherever you are, you may have one of those small missalettes that they'll sometimes have in churches. Read the gospel. Read the readings from the day. And if you have to receive communion in your home, share your thoughts with the minister of communion. They won't mind. That's part of their job. That's part of their joy. Today, Jesus tells us to be aware of the times. Where are we as a community? Where are we as persons? For what do we need to pray? For strength. For what do we need to pray? For praise. St. Paul, writing his letter to the Ephesians, is writing as a prisoner in the Lord, begging the people in Ephesus to lead a life worthy of the calling to which they have been called, the calling to be Christian. St. Paul asks us to do the same thing to live our lives worthily, at least praying. That makes it sound as if prayer is the smallest thing you can do. As a high school teacher, a teacher of adolescence, I know the strength of prayer, mere prayer. Grandparents, 
pray for their adolescents, grandsons and granddaughters, and their lives are changed through their grandparents' prayers. Parents, pray for the parents of adolescents. Pray for yourselves, for strength. And then we too can pray the psalm that the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. That's good. The world and those who live in it, us, we belong to God. Prayer of praise. God has founded it. God will keep it. And who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who can stand in God's holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts. Read the signs of your times. Where does your heart need to be cleansed? Ask God to cleanse it, and it will be cleansed. As a church, we have the marvelous gift of the sacraments. And as I teach my students, the sacraments have effects. God's not kidding when God becomes part of us in the Eucharist. God's not kidding when he speaks the words of absolution through the priest. You are absolved. God doesn't kid. God loves you. God holds you in the palm of your hand. God holds you in the palm of his hand. Prayer of praise. My dear brothers and sisters, wherever you are, know that you will receive the blessing from the Lord and vindication from God. Know that you are part of the people who long to see God's face and do. As a community of faith, then, let us stand and present our needs and the needs of the world to our loving God. Let us pray for the world wherever there may be sorrow that God's presence there may be a balm and a comfort for those sorrowing. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for the church, the entire community of believers, that we may indeed be a light shining on a hill, that all may see our joy in the risen Christ. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for our country, that the leaders of our country may be men and women of justice, of love, and of life. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for all who are ill, that they may be comforted by God's hand and by our words of comfort. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for all who have died, that they may rest in Christ's peace and that they may bathe in the love of God. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our Loving and gracious God, we give you thanks. We know you have heard us. We know you have listened. We ask these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of life. Yes, Loving God, we ask that you receive us in the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me of my sins.
pray, my brothers and my sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, receive these offerings chosen from your many gifts. Make the, may these mysteries make us holy and lead us to eternal joy. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. With love we celebrate his death, with living faith we proclaim his resurrection, with unwavering hope we await his return in glory. Now, with all the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. <laughs> 